Hi guys. So in editing these videos, I've realised that um, it's a little bit hard to follow where Frank is on the ship. So I've come in on the start of this one and I'm going to show you where we're going to explore today or where Frank's going to take us around the boat. What I want to show you now is um, the generator room. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know where the generator room is. I can't place where Frank is on the vessel when he says, OK, let's take a look at the generator room. So I'm going to try and show you where he is when he says that and then he can continue. So here you've got a nice side profile diagram of one of the Minehunter vessels. Um, just here was the door that Frank was stood outside when he was talking to you. And what this side profile view shows is quite nicely the platform deck here, then you've got the main deck just above, level one, level two, and finally level three. There's obviously no gun on the mine hunter anymore, so um, this really should be removed from the diagram. And also just below that, the sonar, I think it's the sonar that was used for detecting mines, definitely not there anymore. Um, so you can forget that. But I think this is a good part to see. Frank was here, like I said, on the main deck, just outside the generator room. And which generator room is it? This is generator room number three. So here, inside this circle, that's where we're going to go and explore now with Frank. Because this vessel had three generators, three big, big generators, and they all had their own compartment. They took out the engines, and I'm sorry, I haven't cleaned it up, but look what we have here. <laughs> yeah. So, I have to tell you, they took out the engines, but the dynamos are still in here. The dynamos are still in here. As I told you before, these ones were 60 hertz, and um, the dynamos are absolutely massive. I will have a look for you with the next one. I think they are around 500 kilowatt, something like that. These ones, yeah, these ones were all started not like your car with a battery. No, bigger engines get started on air. And I guess that this is the air tank to basically start. So this is a generator room you see in the back. Down there, um, big ventilation, uh, engine room ventilation. See all parts here, all parts. <laughs> Little leather valves again. Look, all stainless. And here, this is a funny thing as well. Throughout the whole boat, you see transformers. What they did was they brought three phase to every place, and from three phase you have transformers that made it from three phase to single phase. 220 or 240 volt. It's a bit of a mess. 60 hertz. Look what we got here. Also, as part of the vessels. Oh, nice. We can clean up. We can clean up, right? Yeah. Look at this again. You see that everything has bypass, everything has the stainless steel valves. And here, I don't know what this was, but probably the control, the control of the, let me have a look, I need my glasses for that. Alarms, yeah, these was, yeah, 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 yeah. So this was the control part of the dynamo. Now on every dynamo, you normally can see, this was generated three. Yeah. Magnetically sensitive. How interesting is that? But on every dynamo, you can normally see how much kilowatt. I can't get into the other one, but I will on the other side, because it's a mess. But I will have a look later on the other one. 
And here, a big ventilation with a big blower behind. Pretty cool. Day tank, fuel, they call it the service tank here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, what they do is they pump from the big tanks into here every day. Size of this is probably 600 liters. You can run probably a day. And guess what? Good old NAFS 3, not 2, it's NAFS 3. You can see that when you put your glasses on. Stainless steel pipes for in case there is fire. You see here the nozzles were connected here as well. That's all of the fire protection. Throughout the whole boat, I guess there's more than 10 kilometers, easily more than 10, probably 20 kilometers of the yellow and green grounding wire in all different kinds of thicknesses. So generator room number three, let's go. So here we have the main engine room. The heads to the main engine room, but we will go there later. First, I will show you a bit more on this deck. Of course, guess what I found here? Generator room number one. I'm here again just to interrupt to let you know where we are. Um, so Frank has just shown you around this one here. This is generator room number three. That's what you've seen so far. And he's now going to move forward, uh, forward of the ship along the main deck. And he showed you a hatch, which is just here. And that's the hatch that goes down to the engine room. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll put a line through it. Hang on there and there. Um, that's where the hatch goes down to the engine room. And if you followed Frank so far, he's now outside this door here on the front deck. And that means we're going to look inside here, which is generator room number one. Now, the funny thing is, every generator room has two doors. An emergency escape. So I can show you here. We go in here, but we will go out through the other door. Same story. What do we have here? Straight away when we come in, a high voltage converter. And then we straight away have the dynamo. Here is the dynamo. And as I told you before, every dynamo has a little plate that you can see how many kilowatt, how many hertz. So for example, that's the type. It's a serial number here for oh, only 440 kVA, so that's not that crazy. That's less in kilowatt, 60 hertz. They were running on 1800 rpm. Big engines run 1800 rpm. Mm, I thought that would be a lower one. You can also, if you run on 60 hertz you can also actually run on a lower one but then you need more in your dynamo or a different dynamo but the weight of this baby is 1720 kilos <laughs> and that is of course built on a frame of stainless steel and this stainless steel frame is of course grounded with a pretty heavy cable that's going later on or well, that's actually going to the ground plates a day tank or service tank right here another one another tank confined space fuel oil service tank you see a bit of water don't worry look at all these cables guys all marine, all marine cables. Unbelievable. That's going to be something to figure out what is going to be what. And this, just to be clear, we will not use anymore. We will not use, but definitely 
that they can use these ones later on if we decided where we go I'm sure they can use them again because they're still very good dynamos yeah now the exhaust look at this the exhaust is made of 316 stainless steel and then same as in the other generator room the control panel for the generator now I want to show you something here because this is pretty cool as well you see here it's a very difficult word for me to pronounce being Dutch but it is I guess decousing I would, I'd yeah. say decousing decousing I don't know that that's right but. no now this is something that you will see over the whole boat as well in the hull of this vessel you have little I don't know what they are but they put stuff into it and it's for the magnetic field to get the magnetic field of this vessel basically out of the way so it's not magnetic at all because the last thing you want and this is of course why this is a mine hunter a mine hunter, a mine sweeper, all these vessels, they can't be of steel because that's attracting the mines, right? So they have to be, in the old days, mine hunters, mine sweepers were of wood. Now it's of this massive fiberglass, which is never rusting, strong as, you know, it's like really, really strong. And they put these things in. So basically, these are all over the boat, all over the vessel and this is for a magnetic field that it stops. I've been reading a little bit about it and as I told you every room has an escape room and what do we have here? Escape room and now we escape from generator room number one. So I just told you about Every place has an emergency escape. This is the engine room escape. And I only film you, or I only open this so you can film in here. But we definitely don't go in here because this is not very comfy. But this is how they can escape from the engine room. And there you see the exhaust pipe of the main engine. <laughs> That will go all the way up to the funnel at the top. <laughs> yeah. So this is not really a place to go and visit, but as you can see, escape. And it's the escape of the engine room. I told you before, we have three generator rooms. This is generator room number one, where we were. I don't know who came up with the numbers, but this is generator room, room number three. We were here as well. And then I show you generator room number two. Now, as I said, every compartment you can escape. Ta-da! We escape and we go to engine room number two but be very careful because later on we will go here engine room or generator room number two we just done one two uh, or one three and now we are in generator room number two i'm very happy to hear that i'm not the only one getting confused so a recap we have done generator room number three at the start of the video and then we came out at this door here and Frank made his way over here to the door into generator room number one. He then took you tour for generator room number one and he ended up actually at a door just over here um, so towards the forward ship and that's the escape room or the escape door out of generator room number one and you can see there's another door bang opposite that door there 
is the escape hatch or the escape door that comes up from the engine room so that um, the guys down in the engine room they have an escape as well and that's the door that leads into that and then he's actually going to go down the middle of the ship back to where we started and he takes you through the back of generator room number three there's another hatch down to the engine room there which like he said we'll show you later and we're finishing up here so he's about to enter generator room number two and give you a tour of that one yeah let's make a mess out of it it's basically the same setup so engine old engine control here same story the dynamo here same story you have the day tank you have a gearbox loop tank but this is a bit funny i need to figure out if that is for the gearbox downstairs or not but i will figure that one out and tell you later on i can't actually walk around this one because it's a bit of a mess but um as i told you before through the whole vessel you also have air conditioning or hvac and that's funny because big pumps are pumping water circulating water through the vessel to all the individual air con air conditionings and i'm going to show you later on uh, about when we come into the living quarters these air conditionings as well. <laughs> 